I will bless the Most High at all times, and His praises shall continue to be in my mouth. What's going on, everybody? All my brothers and sisters around the world, I pray all is well. My title now says, When You Going to Church? But my question is, when are you going to start taking the church to the people? Now, let me say this all the time, my brothers and sisters. I'm not doing this video to make nobody mad. I'm not down to nobody in their church building. As a matter of fact, I'm giving a shout out to all the church buildings that's up, that's running according to the Father's will. But uh, we must understand everybody's church is not operating in the Holy Spirit. We got a lot of churches operating in the Antichrist spirit. And as I just had another Bible study with my big brother K. Ray, uh, we talked about this. And there's so many people who love to criticize and down the ones just because they're not inside of the quote-unquote church building. And as a child of the king, I love to rightly divide the word. I know people like to take certain scriptures and put you in hell, you know, because you're not going to church. But I want us to understand in this video, do we really understand what the church is? And if we... If we got a great understanding on what the church really is, then why is it not so many people going outside of these four walls in their church and going, taking the word to the people? Because I, it bothers me when I hear a pastor always say, show of hands, everybody who's saved, everybody in the, everybody hands in the church go up. But it's the same people at church every Sunday. But my thing is, if everybody's hand is going up and everybody's already there and so-called saved, why are you not spending time going after the ones who are not? Everybody will not receive the gospel. But we don't know who's going to receive it if we never try. So my title again says, when you're going to go to church. But my question is, when are you going to take the church to them? I know when I was out of the church building. Uh, I've never been out of the body. A lot of people kept asking me, brother, when you going to get back in the church, man? You know things ain't going right in your life because you ain't going to church. That's why you you, go, you got to start going back to church. And the truth is, in a lot of churches, they so messed up, it's best to stay out of them if the Lord is not in it. And I mean it out of love. I'm not talking about everybody churches like this. But my question is, when are you going to start ministering to the lost? When? I deal with a lot of people who don't go to church, y'all. A lot of people on her that I, you know, fellowship with that's not in the building. And I understand why. As a matter of fact, I give them a hand clap because when I listen that why they not in there, in that certain church, I thank the Lord that they got out of there. Some people got a problem with me when I say that. Well, brother, that's the house of the Lord is now. Everybody church. It's not the house of the Lord. See, notice I keep saying church for a reason. Let me let me say it a little bit harder than what I'm saying. The called out ones. Because we got so much confusion now, y'all, with this. You just got to be in the church building. Look at the people who's sick at home. Folks who's laying up in the hospital. And I'm talking about people sick Physically, and then what about the ones that sick spiritually? The ones who are down and out with a poor spirit. People that need to hear the gospel. We're so busy talking about the prostitute, the dope dealer, the gangster, the pimp, the, the whoremonger, but who reaching out to them? Because I got a news flash. Everybody ain't going to come to the church building. Hmm. Because a lot of people that used to go to the church building quit going to the church building because of the ones in the building. Y'all see what I'm saying? Confusion all over. We so busy building so many church buildings, Brother K. Ray. But what did Christ build his church on? Hmm. That's what I keep saying church for. I'm talking about our Savior church. Christ, the anointed one. What did he build his church on? Hmm. For those who study, y'all know where I'm going with this video. We we keep on putting emphasis on the building, but what did Christ build his church on? Now the Bible says one, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. That means one body, the body of Christ. 
So to the ones who's always down and the ones who don't go to church, my question to you again is when are you going to take the church to the people? Mm. Bible say when two or three are gathered, he's in the midst. Our father's in the midst, y'all. I see a lot of homeless people. See, you know, you know what I learned in life? If you spark up a conversation with people, then you can start talking about the word. Do you have to have a Bible and quoting scriptures left and right? No. A simple conversation. That's why I love to feed the homeless. That's why I love to talk to the, the ones that the church folks talk down on and skip over. I'm not talking about everybody, church. But one thing I love about talking to the homeless people, not only can I feed them you know, physically give them something to eat, but I can give them a spiritual word, spiritual food, and sparking up a conversation. I know some that's, that used to be homeless, they're not homeless no more. My heart goes out to these people. I'm just wondering, really, how many people on the inside are reaching out on the outside? We're so quick to tell people to come to church, but we don't never, we don't never tell them about what the Lord has done for us. We just come to my church, brother. Son did not promise. Sir did not promise. Just like I was talking to my boy Slick Rick the other day. Slick Rick go to church on Saturdays. He's seven day advantage. And I said, I, I don't I don't care what day I go on, brother. As long as we talking about the same most high, y'all sure? You good with me. I get past all this fussing and fighting, but my point is we won't even offer people a, a word hardly nowadays. We want everybody to come to the church. Like like the Lord won't show up in my house or your house, uh, where he say two or three are gathered in the place. He will show up in the midst, y'all. I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness to that, y'all. I wish people, I, I got to say this out of love. Give me the right words, Father. I wish people in so many ways would quit waiting on people to come to the building because some people ain't gonna never come to the building and then some of us are so stuck up on ourselves and act like we ain't never done nothing wrong we ain't never been lost in life that we can't be around them because we can't hear a cuss word or they smoking too much or this and that now I do understand if that's what your addiction was then you might not want to be around them but everybody addiction wasn't smoking everybody addiction wasn't drinking that's why I don't have no problem hearing cussing words or somebody drinking or smoking high as hell it don't bother me that's not my problem never was Smoking ain't never been my problem. So I can listen at you. If it, if I got to listen at you cuss and get your point across and, and you got your bottle in your hand, do it. See, that don't sit well with religious folks. But my point is, how are we going to reach them if we won't hear them out? We want everybody to get saved overnight like we did. I didn't get saved overnight. Matter of fact, I ain't even made it in yet. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get in there. I've been delivered, but I ain't been saved yet. Somebody will catch that later on while we always talking about how saved we are. I've been saved since 1989, brother. I ain't made it in yet, y'all. That's why I want to make it in. I want you to make it in. When are we going to take the church to the people? Our Savior went after the loss, and he did it well. I said in the last video, let me say this again. If you're not careful... You can go to hell through your church. I'm being real, y'all. It's something I remember P.P. Drawings, my big brother, saying in one comment. He said a whole lot of people are going to hell because they should have stopped going to that messed up church they was in. That's real. That's scripture in Matthew 7. Because you got so many churches that's pretty much messing up more people than they happen. When the last time people that's been in the building really have helped somebody that's not a member of the church? And I'm not talking about Thanksgiving Day, and I'm not talking about Christmas Day. I'm talking about when have we really helped somebody other than a holiday? I, I know this video kind of getting up underneath some, somebody's skin, but y'all cannot speak real. Our Savior built his church and added all believers to it. And I'm not talking about a building. It's a lot of people in the church building but not in Christ. 
see the Bible, the church, the called out ones, I always referred to people, a group of people, believers, never a physical building. Am I talking about don't go to the building? No. Find you a good building that's operating in the spirit to go to. If it's not operating in God, get out of that building. You got to. Because you will go down with the rest. I'm talking about a house of Satan now. That's why I always have to make this point. All churches are not bad. All preachers are not bad preachers. We got we to gotta rightly divide the word. If we start taking the church to the people... We'll get, we'll get better results. So when I look at how our Savior built his church, that's awesome. That's awesome. Because I want to say Matthew, Matthew, Matthew 16 and 18, our Savior said to Peter, he said, upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Or we can say the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Some people take that scripture to say that Satan can't enter into the church building. Because Christ is all around and all Satan is sitting right up in the church. But see, you got to look at before why did Jesus say that? Because he was looking at Peter's confession. Because Peter knew that he was the Christ. And Peter's confession, that's what he took and said, the rock. What does Peter name mean? That rock, that foundation of Christ. He was building a church on himself, not Peter. Matter of fact, if he was going to build a church on Peter, that church would have been real shaky all of a sudden because Peter had downfalls. Yahshua was perfect. Perfect. So he built the faith on himself. I mean, he built the church on himself. So why am I saying that the psalm all of this up once again is so many people want to beat you over the head because you're not going to the church. But this video is to the ones that go to the church. I want to ask you again, when are you going to start going out of your corners in that church building and start going out the folks? Because let me, let me give you something before I close. Our Savior spent more time on the outside of the temples. Yes, he went to the synagogues, but he spent more time on the outside trying to reach those who wasn't on the inside. And his biggest problem was those who was on the inside, which was the religious folks, the Pharisees, the experts of the law. The religious hypocrites is the one I say you had the biggest problem with. Why am I saying that? Because if you are a spiritual child of the king, your biggest problem that you're going to have is going to be with religious people not spiritual people. May the Lord bless you and may he keep you. If we're going to pray, why worry? And if we're going to continue to worry, what's the use of praying? Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day.